yeah, what's going on guys? I'm going to show you every single meta build that I'm going to be utilizing for patch 13. These are best in slot builds. You can usually get them from Trader 3 onwards. A lot of the attachments are quest locked. So, you know, this is sort of end game content. However, you have the trader level requirements and you've got the attachments ready to roll. These are going to be your best guns to build for this white. Now, I'm going to start you off with running you through my list that I've used. Um, M4, meta M4 remains like patch 13. It just got even more stupid. There's certain combos that you can utilize uh, that were patched at the very start of the wipe that are still available. I don't know whether it's some um, mishap or a bug, but there's certain ways that you can get around their building restriction and still utilize the insane stats. I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, Meta M4, we've got an AK-101. This is my go-to shooter-born gun. So if you need a shooter-born gun where you have to shoot, you know, two, 300 meters, this is one of the best guns to utilize because it's got the highest bullet velocity that you can build for 5.56 caliber. Now, if you, you know, chuck a razor or something like that on top of it, you're shooting dead straight for ages. Really, really good gun. AK-74N, I actually started to use this, this wipe. Previous wipes, I never touched it. Only reason because PP, BT, BP, BS, you know, that ammo caliber really got outdone by 7.62 um, BP. So you'd usually rock a mutant or an RD over an AK come mid late wipe. Um, so now that those restrictions have come into play, obviously you can't get BP from Prepper anymore. Grenade is completely useless. Don't even bother freaking doing it. ES still rocks and it still hurts, but it's not like BP, man. So AK has shined really, really well at the moment. Uh, obviously you have your typical builds, RD and a mutant. They're pretty much very similar to 1212 spec. They're really solid still. If you got a lot of BP, if you got them before they removed it from trades, then yeah, look, you know, it's still meta. And then my favorite DMR, which is the SR25. Like that is goaded. I don't think any other DMR can beat it apart from the RSAS, but overall feel SR is, is king. So I'm going to walk you through the actual builds of every single uh, gun that I have on show for you here. I'll show you how to build it from scratch. I'll show you how it performs in the range as well. So we'll start off with an M4A1. I'll take it into the range and I'll show you the actual vertical on it. It is insane. All right, we're going to go full auto. We won't turn laser on or anything like that. We're just going to center mass. I'm going to shoot. I'm not even going to drag it. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Like ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Now, if I was aiming down sight and I want to recoil control, if I'm crouched. I'm ADS, so I'm going to drag down on my initial burst. Like, that recoil is nutty. So, I'm going to show you the stats, and then we're going to get into the build. Now, with patch 13, at the very start, there was a combo with a, ja with a jailbreak and the th new Thor suppressor. So if you had this muzzle device with this sound suppressor, you're not meant to stack it like it, it was a bug. I don't know whether it's an intentional bug or whatever else, but the jailbreak has always been on its own. You know, you'd run that unsilenced. It'll be gassy as hell and see shit when you're shooting. But now you're able to stack that with a four and you're getting 40 ergonomics with this current meta build and 22 vertical. It may be patched again. I don't know. They patched it at the very start when it got um, aware that you when everyone knew that you could actually start to build it, it got patched. You couldn't build it anymore. The only way you could actually get this gun again is if one of your friends already built it, they dropped it for you in raid, you took it out, you saved the preset, and then you built it from that preset. You know? There's a little work around it now. You cannot do the jailbreak combo with a 20 inch or an 18 inch barrel for the M4. It has to be a 4S 6 mil. So we've got our stock standard M4. You buy us from the flea market, you know, buy it wherever. As long as it has 100 durability, you don't want to be rocking an M4 that's under 93 duro. You're just going to probably jam straight away. First thing that you want to do is we're going to change over the upper receiver. That's going to go to the Mer 1S. That is your go-to upper receiver for an M4 build. Now we're going to change the uh, handguard. We're going to go to the SAI, SAI UD 14.5 inch. Charging handle, Raptor, or whatever you want. You know, it's personal preference. 
your stock is going to be an advanced tube can be any color doesn't really matter we're going to go to a mo but stock you can put whatever you want any color and then standard mount uh, standard round we're going to go to the 60 round version you can use pmag if you want high ergo as well i don't have the pmags available at the moment so i'll just stick with that pistol grip going to be the growl or you can run the ergo grip as well if you want more ergo we can run ergo grip just for the sake of this build just to show you <clears throat> now your barrel is the 406 mil your siding on top can be whatever you want i go the eotech x xps3 zero because it's the highest ergo out of the reticules but it's also super clean as soon as you aim in it's just one dot if you go the two which is the next one up from this you've got two dots in your reticule like it gets annoying it gets un not clean uh we're gonna go m lock we're gonna go into an se5 this is just for ergo pull up you can go rk2 if you want lower vertical stats but your ergo is going to tank by like 10 points or something like that so i think it's worth just going either chad handle the b25u rk1 or se5 they're your they're your best gas block gs50 uh gs5b <clears throat> and then we're going to run to the front now this is where you should stack pr psr556 so AR15, AWC, PSR. That's going to lead you into the Thor PSR. Right? So that's your silencer on. Now, where you chuck your actual jailbreak in is in the muzzle. <laughs> like, you can still chuck your muzzle on, dude. You shouldn't be able to do this. Like, absolutely stupid. Look at it. It's even rendering into the silencer. Like, pretty fucking nutty. Anyway. And then apart from that, we're going to put on Defiance uh, front sight and rear sight. So that way you're going to get plus two ergo. And then you can chuck on laser of choice, whatever you want, right? So that's 40, 22. If you change over to the growl, like no real difference from the ergo grip. It's just going to be a price point change at that point. But this is your meta M4 build. Really straightforward, really easy. Uh, the build cost, have a looky. At the moment, I've got level three traders across the board. This is mostly, yeah, from the flea market, really. They're pretty expensive builds, though, and it is early wipe, so a few items are going to be fucking up there. But that's gen generic pricing for it. You want to be spending at least two hundred to three hundred k on a, on on meta builds every time. So that's your M four, your AK one hundred one. Now this is one of the best. 556 guns to run if you're not an m4 fan like ak101 super low recoil um really good it's just a good all-round stat gun so crouch position we're going to drag down like even though it says that it's high recoil right that's pretty dead on ak101 is one of my favorite guns to be shooting mid to long range it's not so great for a close quarter combat um, scenario just because of the fire rate of it. But if you have to engage anywhere mid to long range, super solid. You know, if you're shooting targets, just go single fire. Like, it really works as a DMR as well. It's fucking wicked. Such a good gun. But 39 vert, it seems like a high number. Really, it's not that high. Like, it's, it's very easy to control the, the recoil. 57 uh, ergonomics as well. Pretty solid. But AK-101, you usually get this from Mechanic, by the way. Um, first thing that you want to do is remove the front sight. And the reason why you do that is so you can get a bastion. Now, this is the best dust cover to go because it gives you better ergo than the rest. So if you go PDC, which is very similar, right? And you can stack that with the front sight if you really wanted. But bastion gives you plus one ergo over every other, every other one. Obviously, sight of choice, whatever you want. XP again. Charging handle. Put on any that you like. And then we're going to run to the PT for the stock. So PT in the back, and then we're going to go to the PT3. PT3 is the better version over, over the one, so you don't have to worry about the other one. Um, grip. Now this is where it's going to get a little bit expensive on the flea market. You can either go the Scorpius, which is like a budget version of an Ergo Grip. It's not too bad. Or you can go the AGS, um, Sniper Kit Pistol Grip. That gives you a plus two over the Scorpius, which isn't too bad. 
Now, the only bad thing about this gun is the actual restriction on the mag. Like, 30 rounds only. You can't run any 60s in this, which is a bit of a shame. Um, we're going to change the gas block. We're going to go to the Troy. Now, that's pretty much just a one system. It's easy. Now, we're going to chuck on the foregrip. We're going to go to the SC5 again. You can rock any foregrip that you have preference for. I love higher ergo on my guns because it's easier. I hit fire quite easy, but it's better to ADS as well. So anything mid to long range, I use ergo grip. If it's close, I'll rock ch chat handle. Or an RK2 if I'm just purely hip firing. Like RK2 is the best, oh, best one for hip firing. So we'll go to the SE. You can chuck on whatever lazy that you like. You know, I like the X400 because it shines pretty hard compared to the rest. Now at the front for the muzzle, we're going to go CNC wall. Going to build that straight into the ASR 556. So we're running into the Saker ASR 556. That's the best in slot suppressor that was 1212. And it still is for patch 13, unless you're running an M4. The Saker is still the best suppressor that you can run. And that is pretty much your build. 5739. Like pretty decent stats. Not too crazy. Cost wise, costs you about 250. You know, a bit of USD, 200k on rubles. And that is purely from traders. Like most of the most of that stuff is traders. So those are my two favorite guns that run 55A1 or 56A1 if you if you haven't got the 55 unlocked yet. We'll run into the AK74N. Now this was a surprise. Like when I first used this gun in raid, fuck it was a laser beam, dude. It felt so good. 37 vertical, 31 ergonomics. With a 60 round mag, if you change out the 60 round mag and you go to the 30. Um, you'll have way higher ergo, but I prefer a 60 when I'm rocking this type of setup. So we're going to aim down, we'll do middle, we'll recorrect as well. Actually, we'll go long on this one, we'll recorrect for this. Like, pretty dead on. Circles a little bit, the horizontal recoil is a little bit, you know, there, but. Overall, super fucking solid for a 60 round AK-74M. And the caliber that you can use, BT as well, you usually get this from Rashala and his guards. This last wipe, you know, got forgotten about. Everybody just pretty much went to 762 BP. Um, PP, this is similar stats to BT. So if you can't buy BT, go buy PP. It's pretty much the same pen, the same flesh damage, nothing too crazy. You've got BP as well. The 545 caliber that is my go-to round all bs now bs got removed from traders um i just had a look at it before this video and can't even buy it from the flea or um prepper so not sure what happened there um ak-74n i'll show you the build it's pretty much the same setup as an ak-101 except you obviously got a few different parts they were building from stock right so every time that you do stock builds Take off the front sight. You want to change it straight to the bastion. Side of choice, as usual. Your stock. Now this way you can just go straight to the Zukov. Right, so AKM, AK-74, Magpul, Zukov, S, stock. Don't need anything else. The stats on everything else aren't good enough. You just run the Zukov. Way, way better. Charging handle. Um, you can do the exact same thing as the AK-101. So you can go the Scorpius or you can go the uh, Sniper Grip as well for better ergo for this build we'll just go score uh, actually we'll go sniper grip doesn't really matter it's a, it's a it's a two plus two or negative two difference of um of ergonomics now 60 round mag you can run 30s for higher ergo there's no issue around that first thing you want to change over is the gas block straight to the troy combo and exactly the same thing se5 into an rk2 on or a um or a rk1 chat handle Depending on what your play style is, I like higher erg, so I'll just run that. Obviously, chuck on a laser of choice, whatever you want. And then at the front, you're going to want to put on a waffle, so it's a reactor muzzle brake. Hexagon reactor muzzle brake. That will lead you into the waffle suppressor. And that is your go to build for AK74N. 47 ergonomics and 40 vertical recoil. 
obviously if you change off for the Scorpius, that's a little bit cheaper for traders. You'll have 45 ergo. Um, let's just say we did sniper grip and then we went to a 30 round mag as well. So we did the AK-12 or the Gen M3. Like you're looking at 61 ergo with 40 vert. That's that's huge. Like that's a monster of a gun. You'll be lasering people. You can pull it up really quick. Your hip fire is going to be clean. Um, everything to do with speed handling around this gun is going to be fucking monstrous. Ergonomics at 60 plus is really, really good. Uh, build cost wise. Pretty much similar to everything else. I don't know. There we go. The waffle's not available, but that's, an, that's another 75 on. So you're looking around 250 usually. Now we'll move into the RD 704. Now this is exactly the same build as patch 1212. There's nothing that's changed for the RD. It's pretty much similar to its um to its previous builds. And same with the mutant. Like RSS handguard, pretty much generic standard stuff. But PS and BP are your best, you know, bullets to be utilizing if you've got an RD. Like super stable. Nothing too crazy. It kicks here and there, but overall, that's that's a basic RD. Very basic RD. We're looking at 53 Ergo and 48 Vert. So, in terms of 762 builds, whether it's AK, RD, or a Mutant, anything around the 45 plus in vertical recoil is really good. So, I think it's about 46 to 48 is the lowest that you're going to get a 762 build to. Um, whether I'm wrong, show me the build. You know, there's heaps of heaps of builds floating about that I probably don't know about. But 48 is a good point. 46 is pretty much minimum recall build. All right, now I'll show you this from stock standard. It's really simple. This is how you get it from mechanic when you actually buy the gun. So first thing you're going to do, change off the top. So sight's gone. We're going to change that over to a bastion. Sight of choice. Now at the back we're going to go to, um, not the advanced tube, this is a Zukov build as well so don't worry about changing it to an M M4 uh, adapter, like go advanced tube into you know Mo and all the rest, like there's no point to do that, you can literally just change this all to Zukov. Straight Zukov it gives you better stats than Mo as well and way cheaper. Pistol grip of choice. Same thing as the AK-101 and the AK-74N. You can pick between the Scorpius or the Sniper Pistol Group, or you can even go RK-3 if you want. You know, it's not too crazy. This one though, for an RD, it's best to utilize 50 round mags. This is the reason why people pick the RD over the Mutant is because you can utilize 50 round mags at 762 BP. Like this thing was a fucking hip fire monster. You'd roll up at dorms with a 50 mag, like three in the bag. And do just go to town. Although the fire rate is slow, it's stable. Um, but with 762 BP, you'll be punching through pretty much everything that you shoot at really, really easily. Um, at the bottom, obviously full grip, you can put whatever you want. For an RD, I usually run Chad Chad handle or an Ergo grip because I find myself shooting this hip fire mostly. So SE5, you know, it gives you plus two on vertical recoil, but it gives you six plus on ergo, so. At the front, we're going to be running, um, where are we? QDC 762 muzzle brake kit. So this is your go-to one. Make sure when you actually pick this QDC, it's the SIL version. A lot of people get confused with CAC QDC, the black one. You want to pick the silver one. And then that leads you into the PRS, which is your ultimate suppressor for 762. Or even like um, DMRs and stuff like that as well. So that's pretty much it. Obviously, chuck on a laser of sight, whatever you prefer. And that's a build. Harding wise, with gun plus attachment builds, it's going to be 330. Which isn't too bad. If you already got the gun already, then it can be cheaper. All right. So the mutant next. Now, this is my preferred 762 gun. If you're going to be utilizing BS or, oh, sorry, BP or PS. This is my go-to. The RD is great, but the Mutant outclasses it on fire rate. Uh, short to medium battle, so usually the maps that you're playing, labs, uh, dorms, or anything like that, Mutant's going to outperform 100%. The RD has better hip fire control, 
but the mutant you have to avs this gun like end of the day it is a fucking machine so always a staple i'll show you what the actual recoil looks like shines so short range medium and long long not so good you're going to be drawing circles around your opponent so we'll just hit medium like overall pretty clean I like using 45 mags with the uh, mutant as well. I feel like you run out of bullets pretty quick when you go a 30 rounder. So we've got mutant. You can get this from skier uh, level four as well for the trade. First thing that you want to do, we're going to put on the RSAS handguard. All right. So you want to take off the barrel. You want to change the handguard over to the RSAS. And then we're going to go to the 409 mil barrel. So top sight, and bus rear sight, you can keep that, that doesn't really matter. Um, you want to put on your sight of choice at the front. And then, where are we? We'll start with the back. For the stock, we're going to go advanced tube, black or red, doesn't matter. Same thing with the M4 type of stuff, you know, into the mode, whatever color you want with the um, butt pad. And then you're going to put a growl for your pistol grip. You can utilize Ergo as well, if you want a little bit more higher. You can definitely put an ergo on the uh, mk and then your mag of choice run the ak-30s these give you more ergonomics i think it was like plus one ergo or something over a gen 3. Uh, ultimate 103 yeah so the fde and the gray version give the exact same underneath pretty much the same thing se5 chad handle rk2 whatever stats you want it to have or what do you want it to shine more in then you can obviously change accordingly. Your gas block, you're gonna go the CMMG, low profile gas block. Laser of choice. And then at the front, we're gonna run this straight into the same thing that we did uh, before the PRS silencer. So QDC 762, the silver version, muzzle brake. And then that's gonna leave you, leave you into the PRS. That's pretty much it. That's your mutant build. 40 and 49 vertical recoil with the SE5. If we change this over to a Chad handle, you're going to be at 34, 47 vertical. If you want RK2, you're going to be sitting at 45 vert. You know, like it all depends on what the ergonomics that you want of your gun is. So that's your pull up speed, um, all that type of stuff. Handling. It will all dictate it from that. I usually go Chad handle with the mutant because it is a fucking mutant. You know, Chad handle, why not? This is the best in slot sort of build for a mutant. It's been the same thing since, you know, previous batches as well. Nothing's changed. Price wise, expensive. <laughs> Fuck. Super expensive. All right. So the mutant's about 140. The rest of the attachments though, what's, what's really hurting here? Not much, just overall stuff. Okay. So 298 and then a thousand in USD. So yeah, 400, 400 K build. Pretty rough. SR25. The go to DMR. So I'll show you quickly down site. The DMR, this is this is best for woods, um, interchange even any any sort of mid to long range engagement sort of maps. This is your go-to gun. Like it shines really well. It just hits, it stabilizes real quick. You know, you don't have to fucking recorrect your recall too much. You can play close range with this as well, but with a razor or a voodoo. This thing just blitzes everybody. You can run M80, M62, M61 if you do have it. Um, it's just all around really, really strong. So exactly the same thing as the Mutant. What you want to do is change over the handguard. So RSAS straight away. And then you can play the long barrel or the shorter. So the 16 or the 20 inch. Now the 20 inch barrel will give you better vertical control. I'm gonna punch you a little bit more on Ergo though. Um, lead that into the site. So I always run the Lobolev 30, 30 mil ring mount because it's the cheapest and easiest. You can run Voodoo Tac 30, whatever your site preference is. I love Razor, it's super clean, super easy to see. Uh, we're gonna go to the Defiance rear sight, charging hand of change over, ambition, and then we're gonna run it into an um, advanced tube, into a Mo with the butt pad. So with regards to the stock for this particular gun, because it is pretty much, you know, mid to long range fights, you can swap this off for a Gen 3 stock, which will give you better vertical recoil control. Um, we'll keep it at that. I'll show you the stats afterwards. 
but your ergo will will get punished for it so your grip you can either play the sniper ergo grip or the growl whatever your choice is they're pretty much the same mag wise 20 round mags are fine but go the p mag it'll give you better ergonomics at the bottom obviously se5 um chad handle if if you want to rock close or you can go the rk2 as well if you want pure vertical uh, control i'll go the se5 because you do need a little bit of pull-up speed with this as well because it is the big gun is super slow uh gas block we're going to go to the jp enterprise gas system 6 gs-6 that will allow us to put a front side on as well which will give us plus one ergo and then for the muzzle qdc again into the prs so very, very stock standard. That's with the PRS Gen 3 um, rear. We're at 33 and 51 vert. You know, if you want higher ergonomics, change it back to the most stock. You're going to be at 40 and 54. It's not too bad. Uh, the growl doesn't make a difference. If you change over your four grips, you can get 34, 51 with the Chad handle. Or if you want low vertical recoil, 24 ergo, 48 vert. That's with an RK2, you know, and we go PRS Gen 3. That's 46 vert nothing too crazy you'd rather get ergonomics over vertical recoil control on certain guns like dmr at 54 vert is really easy to control it's nothing too crazy once you get to the 80s that's where it kicks up and it just gets a bit of shit show it's like rfb levels but that is pretty much it find the parts cost about 350 plus gun even more because of the vortex a lot of USD as well. There you have it. That is pretty much my go-to six weapons that I'm going to be running this wipe. They are the best in slots. They're my personal favorites in terms of playstyle around it as well. You know, some people love SMGs. I don't mind them. I do like the new uh, SRMP2. That is fucking. That's that's a sick subby. Like really, really sick subby. Will it remain meta? Who knows? I think it outperforms um, MP7 and all that type of stuff. But it's just the ammo availability like it's really hard to get but overall that's my weapon picks hopefully it helps thanks for watching see you again